thankfully, after just going through that harrowing experience with Aretha Franklin. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, there's another baby in there. All right. Yep, here we go. Oh, wow. wow. So quick. All right, it's the end of the workday, and it's time to convert my office back into a bedroom. Uh, it's going to be another night in the barn waiting for, for all these goats to kid. Two hours later. Okay, but I hope you get this. Ah! You get this. Ah! I need you to come over here so I can check and make sure. We got both. Ah! You got it, girl. You got it. Ah! Ah! You got it, girl. You got this. Ah! You got this, buddy. You got this. Ah! You got it. You got it, you got that. You got it, I see the head, buddy. You got it, you got it. You got it, buddy, I see it. You got it. I know. I know. I know. A, you've got a big buddy in here. Yeah, you got a big buddy in here, buddy. Yeah. You got it, you got it, buddy. Holy crap, this is so big. Oh my gosh. Buddy, buddy, you did so good. You did so good, buddy. Good job, good job, buddy. Good job. Okay, why is there so much blood? We're gonna be all right. We're gonna be all right, buddy. You're, you've got this, you've got this, okay? Hi, Jumbug. Hi, Jumbug. Here we go, buddy. You, you did so good. You did so good. Okay, so first thing that we need to do is make sure that we clear out their airways. Okay, we got to hear a little squeak. Okay, here we go, here we go. Here we go, buddy. Yeah, buddy, look at that. This is your baby. This is your baby. You did so good, bud. It's so good, buddy. You did so good. Okay, we just want to hear a little squeak, buddy. Can you, can you give us a little squeak? Okay, it's okay. It's okay. You got it. You got it. You got it, little man. So, right away, we want to get them as dry as possible. We want to make sure mommy's licking them off and is bonding with her baby. We want to keep them warm. So, we've got little lamps behind me that will bring them under. I always like to have my whole birth kit handy before long before it's time to actually have the babies come out. But in that, we've got a hair dryer, we've got iodine so that we can dip their little umbilical cords. We have a uh, colostrum powder just in case we need it. And so we wanna make sure that the baby comes out in the right position. And one really handy thing is to have your kidding positions kind of posted somewhere where you can see them in case there is a complicated situation. But the most important thing is that the, the kid gets dried off, gets its mucus wiped off from in front of it so that it can breathe. And then you want it to start nursing as soon as possible. But like a baby this big is gonna be like extremely energetic out of the womb. Um, you know, it's a, this is a really big baby for a mom the size of his mom, but um, she was a champion. So this is now baby number eight from this season. We had all six of my does bred. I've been raising goats for about five years now. Um, we raise them for their dairy properties, which means that to keep the milk flowing, we have new babies every year. And also, it's just, I mean, in the wild, goats would be rebreeding like twice a year. And so we only do it once a year here because I just think it's better for the goat's health. If, you, if they're not bred, they can develop, you know, ovarian cancer and all kinds of other reproductive issues and so my goodness look at how quick you you figured your life out little buddy he's already looking to nurse and so the other thing is we want to make sure obviously that baby comes out healthy gets dried off then we also want to make sure that mom delivers the placenta and then after we're dry we want to make sure to uh, clean his umbilical cord so we're going to use iodine to do that that's another thing that's in my birth kit and if mom and baby are healthy 
Then I also like to give them a quick squirt of Nutridrench, which I will grab. Okay, buddy, you're so good. You did so good so quickly. You did so good so quickly. Yeah, look at you. Now the real mystery is whether Mama has another baby in there. Please don't tell Adam that I'm using his washcloths. And his towel, actually, let's be honest. <laughs> A few other things that I keep in my birthing kit are uh, gloves and lubrication in case I need to get in there and help out. Uh, we also keep Nutridrench in here and as soon as mom's delivered her kid, we wanna get it a little mouthful of Nutridrench. Yo, I know buddy, I know. That just gives them a little vitamin boost. We're gonna do the same thing to mom. This was such a big kid to come out of such a small mom. I'm gonna keep a thermometer handy. I'm gonna um, monitor her temperature so that, you know, it just to make sure that there's no infection or anything else going on after the birth. So I'll, I'll check her temperature twice a day after this um, and just check and make sure everything's healing up back there. This has honestly been quite a week. Uh, as far as all this goes, I've been sleeping in the barn for the last eight days because the first kidding session uh, kind of went off with uh, with a lot of hitches and, and it was pretty traumatic. The, the baby was born breech and mama l lost her baby and we actually would have lost the mom too if I wasn't there to assist. And so thank goodness I was, um, but that's given me a little bit of a, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's given me a little nervousness as every other kidding session has proceeded. And once again, um, you know, five years of doing this, I've never had a breech kid that was that severe, but literally right after that happened, we had another one. And so um, thankfully, after just going through that harrowing experience with Aretha Franklin, <laughs> oh my gosh, okay, there's another baby in there. All right. Yep, here we go. Oh, wow. wow. So quick, so quick, buddy. So quick. Oh my gosh, you did so good, buddy. You did so good. All right, here we go. My goodness. My goodness, buddy. Sure made room for this guy with your last one, huh? All right. All right, here we go. Here we go. Thank you so much, mommy. I only want one for the moment. Thank you. Oh my goodness. Okay, woo! Oh my gosh, whoops. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Okay, I know, I know. Okay, here we go, buddy. Woo, good night in heaven. Wow, this is really, okay, it's very slippery. <laughs> okay, buddy, we'll get you dried back off in a minute. All right, I think we've got a little girl. This is a nice little small one, so. There we go, we gotta get all that stuff right out. Yeah, you got it, mommy, you got it. I wanna get all this gross stuff off so she doesn't actually eat me. You know. Hey, 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 hey. We got an escape artist. You can hear my mom in the background there. I've been raising goats for five years and my mom's always been my biggest farm supporter and encourager. Uh, but like, again, five years of goats. Uh, she kept scheduling trips, hoping to be here for, for a birth sometime or other and was never able to get here. But now this year, of course, uh, due to the pandemic, she's stuck here and we have absolutely loved having her. But my mom's been here for, for, for five of the six births. And I mean, we've still got one more hopefully tonight because I think everyone would like to go upstairs and get a full night's sleep tonight. All right, look at you. Look at you, did so good, buddy. I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of you. So Brandy Carlisle is a first time mom um, and she just turned nine months old. I really like to have my goats have a baby before they're a year old and then I like to keep them in an annual breeding program after that just like because that, that's what I found to be best for their health. Okay so this is baby seven, eight, and nine. Okay so we've got babies eight and nine on the ground now. Hey now, what do we have here? Just a little girl, I was right. We've got a little girl. You get that girl. Also, I'm so pleased because all of these guys look exactly like their dad, which is what I hoped for. I use my thumb to sever the umbilical cord, uh, mostly because I want there to be a kind of a rough uh, a rough wound, which rough wounds tend to heal a little bit faster. 
so that's why I don't use scissors or anything else to cut it. But I don't want too much to be hanging out off of them. I'm going to do it with this guy really quick. Hey, baby, you're okay. Look at you. You're already running around. Yeah, so I'm going to take it a little bit higher up towards his body and just use my thumbnail to cut it. Yo, look at you already trying to nurse your little buddy. Look at you. Here, we'll put you right by mommy's teeth. So, there you go. How about you want to try to do some nursing then? Here, let's try it. Let's try it, buddy. Okay, you look for that nippy. It's right there. It's right there. Right there. Right there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's what you want to be looking for. A little lower, though. Mommy's a little short. Teen mom. Here it is, here it is. The next thing we want to do is make sure that we get their little umbilical cards all covered in iodine so that they don't get any infections. You're good. Do you want to try nursing? Want to try it? Want to try nursing? How about it? Oh my gosh. <laughs> You're smarter than your brother, aren't you? Try nursing while your brother gets his little. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, here we go. Here you go. I know you're not the smartest little <laughs> tool in the shed. Let's see how much you guys weigh. Here we go. We're just gonna see how much you weigh. Real quick, like. All right, we're gonna call that 1.9 pounds. And you don't even fit in the box. You're so so fat. How did you get to be so fat? Let's see here. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, sorry, buddy. All right, hold still really quick. Oh my gosh. 4.1 pounds. Yep, 4.1 pounds, you little muffin. You are the champion, the fattest little lard of them all. Yeah, you're such an interesting color. So close, you're so close. So the last important thing we have to check for is that they nurse. We want to make sure that they get colostrum right out of the womb. Colostrum will help with their antibodies, all of the all of the antibodies and oh we're on, we're on, we're on. Good job, buddy, good job. You gotta let her nurse, you gotta let her nurse. That'll give her all of the antibodies, um, you know, for all kinds of things that the mom will pass on through her colostrum. Oh yeah, that little girl, you've got your head on right. Good job. You, on the other hand, you need to just hop right in here. The best piece of advice that I can offer people who are wanting to get into goats in general, but specifically dairy goats, is to have a good setup. And I mean, I'm saying have a good setup and I'm literally using half my barn for my wood shop and half my barn for my, my goats. But really, it's important to, to be able to contain your animals well and to be able to think ahead. And so with this, um, to be able to milk the goats in the morning, we have to have a, a separate little setup here to contain the babies at night. And, and then we'll, we'll go ahead and milk and then we'll let the babies out and then they can eat. I got into goats, specifically Nigerian dwarfs, because of the, the milk. They have a really high butterfat content in their milk and I was really excited about things like making yogurt and cheeses and, and soaps and all the things that you can do when you, when you grow your own dairy at home. I've learned a lot of lessons along the way, most of them pretty hard lessons to learn. And, and that's something that I'm really excited about sharing with, with young homesteaders who are, who are just getting into, into their own journey. And that's also why my business partner Josh and I have tried to develop an online learning platform where we can share some of these hard learned lessons. Right now we're developing a course on using raw milk. Like first, if you're just getting milk from a local farmer and you wanna know how to make simple cheese, or if you're you're getting your own dairy goats and you wanna know all of the things that you can do with the, the wonderful sweet nectar that will come from thine teats, um, this is gonna be the course for you. I wanna help you kickstart your learning process and Squarespace has given me the tools that I need to be able to do that. 
I'm not a very tech savvy person, but Squarespace has provided me with a platform where I can easily drag and drop whatever it is that I'm trying to share with the world into a beautiful artist design template. Squarespace has a new scheduling tool that I use to help me schedule my online classes from business building to homesteading tips to woodworking skills all the trades that we do around here, I, I can put those classes on my Squarespace website and people can see them and then they can come to me and learn some of the things that I've, I've, I've dedicated my life to learning so that I can share with others. You can build your website by going to squarespace.com and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Anne of all trades for a 10% discount. My raw milk course is up for pre-sale on the website now and there is a ton of other homesteading, woodworking and business building classes coming so make sure you stay tuned for those as well. One of the most important tools that we have for milking goats is a milking stanchion and if you want to build your own using free materials, head on over and check out that video. I will see you there, cheers.